She's eating so much food she can't fly. See this? That's her crop. Big as a softball. All full. We'll see if I can catch him. Actually, I'll just crawl right under here. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, I got the GoPro on. So. Okay, kiddo. Hey, little one, how we doing? Watch, watch so, watch where he goes. I'm gonna go around the building where I can't see him. Okay. He can fly a little bit. Now comes the chase, guys. Another one of our young goldens that are not doing well. Now I get my exercise. Nice big female. Okay, sweetie, we got you. Oh, make me work for that one. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Good news. Hey, beautiful. Good news. Yeah. Hey, sweetie. Okay. We got her. She's not hurt. And she has a big crop full of food. She's just basically overweight. She's eating so much food she can't fly. Let me pull this down so you guys can see her. See this? That's her crop. Big as a softball. All full. So we'll see what we can do to Put her someplace safe. Yeah, you're doing fine, sweetie. We don't have to take you home. It's okay, pretty girl. You're all right. Here's my pretty girl. That's my pretty girl. Okay. She has too much, too much breakfast. Can you them? Can you sure, if you want to. You've had too much break. I thought I'd just bring her back. Let's let him get a close look, and we'll just release her. Just turn her loose. This is as good a place as any. Huh? I think so. Put her in a shady spot and let her digest for the day. Look at that. Look at that pretty girl.
Okay. I've got really good news. She's eaten too much to fly. She's not damaged or injured in any way. Put her back up on that building. Well, I'd rather put her in a shady spot. Yeah. Well, it's because I, I know how to handle them. But see this? This big area right here, the size of a softball? That's breakfast. Jeez. There's a dead deer down on the highway a little bit farther, about a mile down that way. Then that's probably what she, what she had, a big big venison breakfast. Isn't she, isn't she beautiful? Yeah, I've, I've actually got uh, four of these in right now on a bald eagle as well. Oh, wow. If you don't mind, I'd like to go, is, is there a safe place I can put her in the trees where nobody's gonna bother her, where she can be in some shade and you know what? digest? Anywhere. Anywhere over here? I, I mean, anywhere here. Anywhere here you just... Okay, that's... Thought I'd, I'd ask before I did. Before I turned it loose. Look at those feet. Sure. 600 pounds per square inch of crushing power on those feet. She can drive those talons through, through my hand and crush the bones of my hand. So we are very respectful of, of them. And this is a female. Nice sized female. Yeah, she's, she's nice and big. So she's a baby this year though? This year's young. And she's a little on the thin side, but with that big crop of food meat, she is feeding herself. So, and that and that's, most people don't realize with these guys, the number one injury to eagles being hit by cars, because when they find a roadkill, they'll sit there and eat so much food they can't fly. Well, they, they can't. They, can. they just flat can't get out of the way. Cars coming down the highway, 60, 70 miles an hour. They can't move. They can't fly. They, you know, it end, ends up going through the windshield. They, the person gets a broken car, I get a broken eagle. And so we try to encourage people. This is a great example of that. Um, that is just huge. You know, she really... I, re I read that when I was looking what to do. Yeah. She may have ate too much. And she did. She ate too much. That's you, all it is. you know, if I can... If I can physically run them down and catch them, she's she's, she, she's either, either injured or she's had so much food she can't fly. So and I didn't dare not call. I hated to oh, bother somebody, but I thought, gosh, what no. if she's hurt or you know. Well, that's that's you know that's been Susan's uh, that's been our life. My life's work is rescuing these guys. Well, you know, I kept thinking Tyner, Tyner. What was their what was his first name? And it's like Googled it, and I'm yeah. like, there we go. Yeah. That, the sheriff's department was kind of like, what kind of bird? I said a golden eagle. Yep. And, and the way they get the name Golden is is the color, it's okay sweetie, is the color on the back of her head right there, those beautiful golden feathers. So that's where they get the name Golden from. Wow, she's beautiful. She is gorgeous. She's a gorgeous little gal. And oh, it makes me feel good. I don't have to take another one home. <laughs> it makes me scared to turn her loose. I don't want anything to happen to her. Yeah. yeah. She's beautiful. She is gorgeous. Juniper tree and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go put her over there under that big juniper. In fact, maybe the second big juniper a little further further anywhere out. You're uh, anywhere you feel and uh, just just let her be in the shade. Um, by morning, all this will be digested and she'll be flying just fine. Yeah. Oh yeah, and, and that's and that's exactly the the right assumption is you know any anytime you can go right up on them something's wrong but in, in her case like i said look at that oh my gosh that's all food oh. that is all food you know that's just huge you had way too much to eat you pretty little thing and see uh in about in about five years those brown eyes will turn yellow oh they do yes so they turn yellow. And, and and so and the white that you see in her tail right here all, I can all, see that when she was trying all, to fly. all that white. See white. In five years, that'll all be gone. It'll all be dark. And so that's when. The colors in her. That's that's, that's when she's a full adult. Under her wings she does. She has white under her wings, and the and the white mirrors under her wings. Those will disappear when she's five years old as well. It's a baby. Come look at her. It is a golden eagle. Come look at her. Look at that. See that big bump on the cover? That's food. That's that. She ate too much to fly. So he's going to go turn her back loose under a tree. Yeah, we're just going to go put her back. She's just fine. And, uh, yeah. Oh, I know it's so scary to see people. What are 
they get water and stuff? Do they have to just find water and... Well, again, uh, they, they take advantage of any puddles and things they can find. But other than that, they get the vast majority of the fluids from the, the meat from the animals they eat. Well, I'll just go put her out, out over here away from things and, uh, and let her settle in and relax. And just a little further away from the buildings. And the hills. A little closer to the hills. Well, pretty lady, you're such a sweetheart. We love you to death. And I'm so grateful. Go ahead and start it up. Oh, there's my girl. Shh. There's my girl. I'm so grateful that you don't have to come home with me. No, you really don't. You get to stay here. With a whole tummy full of food. Tummy's the crop. Okay. Yeah, she will. But I'm going to try to start her here in the shade. Okay. Okay, babe. Thank you for being healthy. I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. I really, really do. I'm up to my eyeballs and eagles. I don't need any more. But I want you to relax, stay cool. There we go. Okay, sweetie. There's my girl. Okay, go find a cool spot. Success. I love it. She gave me a good run. I, I always want to make this point, and it's extremely important. Eagles are large. Eagles are very heavy. Eagles are very slow to get off the ground. And um, if they've had a large meal like she did, uh, sometimes they'll eat so much food they can't even fly. And that's kind of the situation that she was in. And because of that, um, when we see birds on the highway, and, we're, and uh, don't just assume they can fly away. And the number one injury to eagles here in, in Utah is eagles being hit by cars. And she was certainly in a situation where that could have been the case, but fortunately she was not. And um, so when you see uh, birds on the highway, slow down. Uh, sometimes you you have to come to a stop and let them walk off the road because they've had too much dinner or too much breakfast.